director seed center professor and head department of seed science and technology retired our beloved professor dr k vanagamudi sir senior scientist my dear colleagues friends and dear students good morning to all on behalf of department of seed science and technology seed center tamil nadu agricultural university coimbatore we feel privileged to extend our warm welcome to all the dignitaries guests scientists students and friends attending through both online and offline for guest lecture on how to improve teaching now we would like to invite our respected professor and head department of seed science and technology tamil nadu agricultural university to welcome the gathering so good morning to one and all present here so respected uh, in uh, school post graduate studies uh, respected director seeds respected guest speaker uh, dr sirendra uh, gori dean faculty of agriculture uh, jawaharlal nehru krishi vishwan uh, vishwavidyalaya jabalpur and alumni of uh, dsst uh, uh, retired professor uh, dr k vanagamudi sir former dean agriculture my dear students and uh, my dear scientists pg and phd students present to both online and offline i wholeheartedly welcome you all to this guest lecture and how to improve teaching uh, the external examiners always uh, chosen the topic uh, related to their specialization in agriculture uh, but this is the first time sir we are arranging this type of motivational lecture to the uh, for the benefit of the both the pg and phd students so it shows your uh, interest on teaching on this uh, uh, teaching so in this occasion uh, i wish to remember uh, one famous quotes uh, so if you are uh, uh, planning for a year uh, we have to sow rice if you are planning for a decade we have to plant trees but if you are planning for a whole lifetime uh, we have to educate the people so with this uh, quote uh, i wish to uh, introduce our uh, guest speaker Uh, Dr. Trendra Gare is a Dean, Faculty of Agriculture, worked as a Director of Research Service and a Director of Instruction at uh, Jawaharlal Nehru Krishi Vidya Vidyalaya, Jabalpur. Uh, Dr. Gare has completed his uh, M.Sc. degree in Plant Breeding and Genetics uh, during 1983 and a Ph.D. in uh, 1987. And um, Dr. Gare was conferring with the Bharat Ratna Dr. C. Subramaniam Award of ICR. for excellence in teaching uh, uh, teaching in agriculture and allied sciences uh, during the year 2007 to 8 so this uh, outstanding team of research award also conferred for uh, uh, dr kare from icr along with the team of uh, jnkbv for the excellent uh, research work done in the field of uh, crop improvement and uh, seed availability of soya bean so he has developed seven varieties and characterized varieties of 10 crops for implementation of ppvfra he has organized several international and national seminars and expert in uh, selection committees and policy related issues in uh, state and national levels and he is having also 90 referred research papers and 10 uh, books in his credit so, so the good teacher explains the superior teacher demonstrates and the great teacher uh, always inspires the people so i hope you will be the inspire all of us sir. so with this brief introduction i once again welcome welcome all of you for this guest lecture thank you one and all thank you madam for your uh, welcome address uh, next we would like to request our uh, most respected beloved director seed center tamil nadu agricultural university to deliver introductory address about this program good morning everybody <coughs> so a respected uh, chief guest of the day guest speaker dr virendra kare dean faculty of agriculture jawarlal nehru agriculture university jabarpur madhya pradesh sir we are really very happy to have you here sir uh, it's really an honor for us uh, dr v manon mani professor head department of seed science and technology uh, dr n sandil dean spgs uh, dr r jerlin professor uh, sst Uh, who is also the chairman uh, of the student who is going to take up the viva versity today uh, professors online and offline associate professors assistant professors scientists students and my dear, dear respected teacher uh, dr k vanagamudi the former dean of this prestigious agriculture college and research institute coimbatore good morning one and all so actually um, i'm supposed to introduce 
uh, sir. But since our professor had has given a lengthy introduction about uh, uh, Dr. Kare, um, I wish to uh, talk a few words about the special uh, lectures that are arranged um, in the guidance of our uh, respected dean, SPGS. So usually when we have the YYVC, we do it as a, um, a student uh, program. But after Dean has taken up the charge of the SPGS, he has insisted that the resource of, in the name of the, uh, the external examiner should be used for the well-being, uh, for the inspiration and uh, motivation of the staff as well as the students. And such a novel idea is really paying great uh, 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 returns for the university. On the other day, we had uh, uh, Dr. Sudipta Basu from um, IARI. She gave a very informative lecture on um, goats, uh, the seed enhancement as well as the seed production programs. And today we have a, a special lecture uh, on uh, teaching, uh, which is not normally touched upon. We don't have much time to listen on the aspects of uh, how the teaching can be improved. And we really we are looking looking forward to you, sir, uh, so that uh, we improve ourselves uh, in the way of conveying our um, uh, information uh, to the students in a more uh, um, what to say effective way. So we are looking forward to you, sir. Thank you uh, for being here to give this lecture, and I am uh, much thankful to Dr. N. Sendhil, um, Dean SPGS. Uh, you are giving a great platform to the entire university. Uh, to share the knowledge, which is uh, the treasure for all of us. With these few words, I wish to thank all those who are present here uh, for being here. Now, uh, thank you one and all. Uh, thank you, ma'am, for your uh, introductory address. Uh, next, we would like to invite our respected Dean, School of Postgraduate Studies, Tamil Nadu Agricultural University, to deliver special address. So, good morning to all. The most respected guest speaker today. Dhirendra Kare, Dean Faculty of Agriculture, Jawaharlal Nehru Agriculture University, Jabalpur, Madhya Pradesh. Uh, usually we get uh, most of the speaker in and around, and around so then now we are reaching uh, Madhya Pradesh. Usually very less uh, uh, that to the external examiner, either we get them from either extreme north or it's south. But the middle part of the country, very, very rarely we receive the external examiner. You know, I'm happy that uh, first time the Dean of uh, uh, agriculture from Madhya Pradesh is here. Uh, definite, definitely, it will have your uh, your presence is uh, uh, it is really a good moment for great moment for us, sir. And uh, Dr. Manon Mani, Professor and Get Seed Sense Technology, Dr. Umarani, Director Seed Center, and Jerlin, Professor Seed Technology, and Senior Professors, uh, students of Masters and PhD, and the senior professor, Dr. Vanagamudi, he always support the seed technology program wherever he, are, he is. And really, I'm happy that uh, today we have a different kind of lecture because uh, every time uh, when we talk on the guest speaker, they will all talk science, or core of science, different core areas in their respective domains. But today we have really uh, the senior most professor and the experienced acad academician and also the administrator. Uh, who is going to tell us how the education system, how to how the, to tackle this new era of education, how to improve the teaching or how to handle the things. I think he's going, I hope he's going to give all the areas which he is going to touch today. And the, the reason why the changing educational system we have to adopt, uh, maybe every state their own education policy or nat national education policy, every time they change their system of education, Usually when we have the old, uh, the, because past three decades, there are a lot of changes happens in the educational system. Uh, the previous Dean, uh, Dr. Vanagamudi is there. That time they introduced a lot of online uh, courses, recorded been, uh, recording been done, that been used, benefited. But after nowadays, the recently the Corona, which makes us more of digital learning. Uh, so we adopted also, we adopted teachers also adopted, students also adopted not only the learning platform, but also the evaluation platform. They all adopted to that. Now again, the pandemic is over. Now we come to the regular mode of teaching. And uh, that's why the TNA also inviting all the external examiners to come over there, visit us, 
uh, and share your knowledge that it will, it will be highly benefited our faculty. So the system of changing the classroom teaching uh, from chalkboard uh, teaching to the uh, PowerPoint teaching. Now they're integrating the video lectures and nowadays the Agri Diksha portal every day uploading uh, tens and 20 or every lecture has been uploaded uh, that uh, the, the ICR supported new education for NAHP program. Every many universities, they started uh, loading many lectures, different course wise, many lectures been loaded. Those lectures been available online uh, from different universities, same subject area, and people can choose and they can watch and learn happily in the hostel. So nowadays, the, every university have Wi-Fi campus, digital learning classrooms, hostels been Wi-Fi been there, and every student have at least two to five GB of data with their mobile phone. So uh, they did not say, uh, sit in listen in a particular time. Any time when they are leisure, they can. Uh, watch the video which are all recorded in available in the Microsoft team platform or the uh, YouTube live or some other platform they can watch. So this way that system is totally changed. So you cannot expect the same type of uh, classroom system. Uh, whatever it is, you have to accept that the things are changing. Now the. Recently, the uh, AI is uh, yeah, penetrating in the educational system, artificial intelligence. The open AI been uh, introduced during December first version. This uh, artificial learning platform now talk of the day on every every side. The January uh, this 23 they again roll out the improved version and it has been Microsoft and also many of the leading IT techs. They invested on the open source platform and now it is been uh, when I ask the question when I ask the question who is the tell me about the uh, Devendra Gare, then it will tell that this is the dean of this particular university and need not the speaker come and read the pages of things it will tell us and also it speak up the uh, that the question is now the AA telling sometime if you type your name it is not getting its link if you have more than 10,000 uh, citation is there then only it comes first otherwise it's the same name Gare somebody, somebody is there it will come so it's all the things the digital platform in which it's been built and information uh, now the uh, Microsoft uh, uh, CEO is telling that not like you have own version of uh, open chat a GDP is going to release and uh, Google is competing for that. So everything now uh, just uh, just ask the some information it will give and also interpret the things you can. So like that the changing system we have to adopt and also the student when you give the assignment these people go to chat GDP uh, give the, the teacher given assignment stay about seat seed vigor and longevity he will type seed in longevity give me a two page write up it will give sir, within a minute it's give he copy and paste and send to the teacher unless the teacher knows whether this fellow is copied from that tdp then again this a is another a is needed whether this is be got from google or he got from that gtv so this much of complexity nowadays uh, it is there uh, we want to know from you sir because you are an experienced teacher and the administrator now how the things are, whether this teacher is, whether he has rejected his assignment and he can say that go and write in a paper or he has to uh, check how much plagiarism is this. Now so many plagiarism software which we already implement for the master's thesis and everything. So the, uh, again the South Ganga, we every time load the, all the thesis which are published. Then a new student is uh, another student after the oh, same area of research, five, six theses are there. Then when you put it in the plagiarism check, it shows you have 30, 40 percent plagiarism because uh, because this area many people are working. If you start a new area, the new tree crops are the unrelated crops. When people submit the thesis, no information available. You have very perfect 10 percent or 15 percent uh, plagiarism. So this again a challenge whether the well, the chairman correcting the thesis unless we know how the plagiarism check software works. He cannot correct. He can correct in a conventional way. He thought that the student written as his own way and is, is really it's a novel. If you think it is not working. So these are all the things which uh, the challenges we are facing, whether we accept it or not, whether we are traditional teacher or the modern teacher, things has to be accepted and we have to go along with that. Otherwise, we cannot survive in the system. Sometimes they are saying that chat GTP sometime uh, classroom teaching, it will it will take away the 20, 30 percent of things. Now the ICR uh, telling that you replace the 10% of the courses with the online courses. Some next another five years later they say 
take uh, these courses with that tdp will take care of some of the courses if you load thousands of pages on the document it will interpret and questions also and the people evaluated the uh, mit in us they evaluated some of the business school they given questionnaires the teacher given questionnaire the student go to the jet gdp they give, typed the questionnaire he got he got he got the 70% mark by using the text he read from that I don't know. The things are uh, sometimes lawyer then script uh, making the script for a particular case. He can succeed in getting that script within a time which the senior lawyer dropped it. So these things every time the things are uh, more and more th things are coming. I hope uh, so. You uh, we we want to learn from you how the things are facing the st st uh, student side or the teacher side. How the te teaching learning system has to be improved. But everybody finally even if you ask the AI system. human intervention is needed it will take so how much human intervention needed how much the machine will take our take the our our job that is again that years the years to come the answer will come so with this uh, few information i want to pass the uh, the so faculties and the students how we are in a different arena so just i want to say few things so with this i thank uh, the uh, c technology group always uh, forefront in any new challenges given they organize the lectures uh when they inviting the any uh, speakers they choose uh, very eminent personalities and uh, they the information been shared to all the persons so in that in that i thank uh, the seed technology department and seed center director for taking the initiative for arranging the lecture and uh, i thank all the participants both offline and online and also those people going to watch the video later when they are busy in morning schedule they watch later so i thank all of them and thank you for giving the opportunity thank you one and all thank you sir for your uh, detailed and motivating uh, special address uh, next we would like to request our beloved and most respected guest speaker dr deerendra kore dean faculty of agriculture jawaharlal nehru agricultural university jabalpur madhya pradesh for delivering guest lecture on how to improve teaching now the session is over to our guest speaker dr deerendra kore sir please thank you first of all i am thankful to tnau coimbatore for inviting me at this university prestigious university for viva voice examination and giving opportunity to talk with the students and staff so i welcome all the students from masters and doctorate degree level dr r jarlin professor chief science and technology who was who is instrumental for me to invite at this particular place uh, dr uh, umarani director seed center dr v manomani professor and head department of seed science and technology dr n senthil and uh, dr wangna muni so i am from jawaharlal nehru krishi vishwavidyalaya jabalpur and the university is located near about at the center point of india that state and university has worked a lot for production of pulses and soya bean we are number one in both at national level highest production of pulses and highest contribution in oil seed and it is because of soya bean our farmer used to produce sorghum and rice during kharif season that a rainy season and in both the cases there was some problem so we want alternative crop and we develop uh, we introduce soya bean in kharif season now it is one of the most important oil seed crop in india most important we introduce varieties from us and those varieties were crossed were from the some indian local germplast and by that many varieties have been developed and in india now soya bean is cultivated in mp maharashtra rajasthan karnataka even few parts of andhra pradesh few parts of uttar pradesh and near about 70% area under soya bean is under the varieties which have been developed by jawaharlal nehru 
In case of soybean, there are a lot of problem associated with seed. Lot of problem and the main problem is germination. Main problem is germination and uh, longevity is the second problem. And still it is a problem after near about 50 years of introduction. Still it is a problem. And uh, I have talked with Dr. Omarani that we may make a plan for that particular purpose and we have to solve it. Apart from that, the university is also known for chickpea. We have many varieties which are popular across the country. And apart from that, Punjab is famous for cultivation of wheat, but that wheat is not even consumed by them. They go for wheat from Madhya Pradesh. It is quality wheat. And when we talk about the quality, so quality means fitness for the purpose or degree of excellence. So for chapati making quality, the wheat produced by the state of Madhya Pradesh is the best, the best. So this is some introduction. Uh, the same way you must have heard about Nagpuri Santra. Uh, orange, Nagpur or orange. It is Nagpur because it is uh, transported from Nagpur. All those oranges, they are produced in the Satpura region of Madhya Pradesh. Satpura region of Madhya Pradesh. So these are the few things. Now come to main point, how to improve teaching. Now I am from the part of India where neither teacher nor students are serious about studying. This I can say. They are not so serious. They only work when there is stress. If say exam is tomorrow, then today will be the night in which I will prepare for it. And because of that, uh, this is now, you can say in India, this is a problem. When stress is there, then we will go for performance. And we always think that Next time we will prepare it on time. This is a major problem, but this is again a quality of Indian student or Indian performer that we are able to perform under stress. When you go in European countries, they are not ready to perform under stress. They are ready to leave the job, but not ready to perform under stress. But we are, re we are always ready to perform under stress. Our performance is always better and under stress. And because of that, we are able to make our position in US or in Europe. This is our quality. But is it good? We have to think on that. Say in any class, in any class, uh, First come to school teaching. School teaching. In a school, the teaching is a way as you go for uh, for dinner in any home and everything will be served to you on your plate. Everything will be served properly and you will get dinner at that place properly. But in college, the way of teaching is a buffet system in marriage. What you want, you can take. If you don't want, you don't take. So best teacher is in a school and uh, respect of teacher is such that if you teach your sister or brother of a school or your son or daughter, if you say your teacher told you this part is wrong, then she or he will never ready to say that her teacher has explained it wrong. Whether you are doctor or, or you have any degree, what her teacher or his teacher has informed, it is right. So this is the respect of teacher in a society. But because of that respect, the way of teaching is, when we conclude in a class, the final words of what is given by a teacher, it is the final one. It is the conclusion, but it shall never be in that way. Conclusion from all the person. But in India, final words are always from a teacher. We never conclude it with the 
conscious or you can say with involvement of a student in any class even teacher uh, student asks the teacher whether it is correct or not what teacher will say he will never argue and without argument teaching is not possible in higher education so this is a major problem so in uh, again i am not talking about in for your university again i am talking about in north india the major problem is say in a class there are 25% students whether you teach or not they will perform better than the ability of a teacher and there are 25% of students whether you are uh, the best teacher at the globe you are not able to explain them but 50% population is floating they are ready to learn they are ready to learn but many times uh, they may or they can move to any direction so while teaching in the class to whom we have to address this 50% population or those 50% those we those are very poor not able to understand or 50% those are the best students this is the major problem with a teacher to whom i have to focus if you will focus the best then near about 70% students they will not able to understand and if you will focus those 25% with those are very poor very poor then it we uh, it is not good for the best student they will remain at the same platform where they were so to whom we have to focus this is a problem now in uh, many universities now staff members are less teachers number of teachers are less if we say we have three classes in was the, the the best student in one poor student and 50% population in second and we can transfer from the 50% population to the best or the poor in the, on the basis of performance in every month and our aim is 20 to poor 25% must come to 50% the best but this much number is not available as far as uh, I'm uh, talking about my university. Teachers are not available. Teachers are not available. So how to improve the performance of those students? This is a major problem. So they will never ready to say whether they are able to un uh, understand or not. They will see to your eye, but you will not able. Uh, they are not ready to say no. I am not. Uh, this part is not clear. So how we can give them uh, that confidence that they can they can ask the thing. They can ask question in class. How we can make a class viable. So to make a class viable, the teaching shall never be to pass the examination. Because when. Uh, the mindset of a student is to learn in a class to pass the examination. And many times the same aim, same objective is of the teacher. The, my student shall pass the examination with good marks, whether he is able to understand something or not. Is it uh, true or not? The aim is to pass the examination. Uh, say I am taking any subject from last 10 years, even then I used to come with my notes and by seeing those notes, I, I am telling you the, these are the points, this is the sequence, these are the factors by observing my notes. And I say to you that you must learn in one class and reproduce it in the examination, which I am not able to learn in 10 years. Still, I, I use my notes to explain it. So this is for to pass the examination. And we have to change it. To give. Learning, you must learn something. You must learn something. So how one can learn? Is it true if we say that there shall not be any examination? Who 
what is the value of a degree which is given by a university? It is only an eligibility. That based on that you are eligible for a certain. Post or any competitive examination. Then they will uh, arrange one examination. Even in my opinion, we provide mass, uh, say bachelor degree to a student from our university for master's degree. We never recognize it. We say you have to pass the entrance test. Then I will give you admission in masters for doctorate. We ask to pass the entrance test. Then I will give you degree and uh, this admission for that particular degree. So what is the role of examination in the university? And because of that, the aim of teacher and student both is. Pass the examination. Not to learn. And to learn, then we uh, we arrange training program, orientation program, all these two to learn. Where there is no examination. So is it possible that uh, the exam that we have to change the way of examination? The same thing in case of we say it is a professional degree, bachelor degree is a professional degree in agriculture, but it's still uh, the classes, four classes is a theory. We have less preference to practice. Why it is so? So how we can change it? How we can improve it? So we have to change the way of examination. The aim has to be changed. Aim has to be changed. That is not that uh, to pass to get a degree. You have to pass the examination. So. Then. Uh, if you talk about. Uh, a one a general thing is is to at present students are not of good quality. The students are not perfect. Because of that performance is poor. Now each and every student is perfect. If you have to weigh anything first, you have to calibrate the balance. If you will not able to calibrate the balance, the performance of the result, the weight will not be correct. So each and every student is perfect. He is per perfect. Our ability is not such that we can be uh, I am able to calibrate him. If I am able to calibrate him, he is the perfect balance. He is the perfect balance, so teacher has to improve its ability. The ability of a teacher has to be improved. Otherwise, a student comes in the class like a plain paper. Now this is the responsibility of a teacher to write the perfect words on that paper to make the paper valuable. A plain paper has value, but a paper on which we uh, perform a rough work, then we have to place it in dustbin. So this is the responsibility of a teacher. This is the responsibility of a teacher. What you have, uh, whether you are able to make him valuable or not. And to make him valuable, the thing must be clear to a student, uh, to teacher, why a student is in a class. You are the same hero. You remain in the class for one hour in that particular class. You have to perform in a better in the best way. Otherwise, the students are not ready to see that particular movie because the hero is not good. Teacher has, has to perform each and every day in that way that a student must have curiosity to see the movie of that one hour, which is by you. Otherwise, in India, a person making a, a dumb room on, on side a street. People start to gathering around him. Is it? But here teacher is a uh, student are paying to come in the class, but the performance of teacher is not good. And why it is not good many times 
teacher has knowledge, but it is uh, he has no idea how to transfer it. And the reason is just after my doctorate degree, I'm here in the class. There is no orientation program how to teach. What is the class psychology? Whether the student is present in the class is really mentally present in the class or not, or he is on detouring. And this is the major problem in that particular age. That physically he is present in the class, but mentally not. And this is a major problem of this particular age. So how we can keep those students in the class mentally also? And this part is missing. At least in my university, we never provide any training to a teacher that is classroom psychology. What is the psychology of a classroom? For a teacher of a school, there is class. They know. They know what is the psychology of a class. But in colleges, never. We never know. The same way. A teacher is involved in say bachelor degree program, master's degree program and doctorate degree program. And you ask him a question. What is the difference in teaching at master's, bachelor's and doctorate degree? Then there is no answer. What I know I teach you in bachelor. Why, what I know I will teach you in master's and the same thing in bachelor uh, and doctorate. What is the difference? So basic thing. Teacher has to improve. Teacher has to improve. The question why he has to improve. Say. Uh, we always say there shall not be any business in teaching. This is a profession profession. There shall never be a business in teaching. It, it is a, such a profession. And then the second part, we ask a teacher to teach a student how to become a businessman. In our profession, we say it is not a profession by uh, for business. And in second hand, we say you explain a student how to become a entrepreneur. How it is possible by a teacher? Even a teacher. He, if he is involved in coaching classes, even then he say it is wrong. And we say you explain how to perform business. So this is the policy of our uh, country. How we can change it? How a teacher can become a businessman? And if you perform as a businessman, then society will say he is not a teacher. So uh, these things we have to improve. There is one program in university also experiential learning program, and we had to explain how to if this can be changed into a business. And we have never done any business. So again, this is a problem. So many things have to be changed to make teaching effective. And teaching has to for learning. Uh, you have knowledge. You have to transmit knowledge. You have to change knowledge into science. You have to explain science in such a way that science has to be changed into technology that has to be utilized for society for the purpose of so, uh, for help of society. So whether it is, is uh, the teaching is in that way. We learn any science to pass the examination. Not for implementation of that science to develop a technology and that technology will help society. So we have we must learn how to change knowledge to science, science to technology. And this is. This is not there in our syllabus. We want how to pass the examination. The same thing in uh, North India. A student even not ready to come in the class. What is the reason? Because 10 percent students are such that they know what is their future. Whether business, whether politics, 
politics or few things are there and they want others should now read or learn otherwise the difference between those students and the uh, those 10 percent students it will be more they will perform better so i will not allow to you to uh, reach in the class this is the major probleming in uh, mp bihar and up this is the major problem those students they are not allowing other to learn so how society will help it in this particular case to conduct the examination the, the classes this is the part i think you have never faced that this is a problem but this is a problem in north india this is a problem and uh, if i say everything is good okay, it is good but it is not good a student has ability to perform they have they are good and every time the generation which is coming generation is better than the generation which is uh, here to read uh, teach them every time it is in that way but a few students they are not allowing the other to learn and this has to be improved then in many classes even in the PhD level, teacher used to say how you have to study, how you have to uh, wear your clothes, how you have to perform, how you have to say. And it's this uh, period of time. The student is ready to learn while observing the teacher. Teacher has to perform in that particular way. By saying anything, they are not ready to do it. It is uh, at the school level. It is only at the school level that what you say the student will, the student will follow. Here you have to perform in that. Way. Then only the student will follow. And we are not ready to perform in that way. I am coming late in the class, but ask the student to come in time. Come on time. So how it is possible? I am not performing well in my class. I am not ready, well prepared. Uh, every time I ask a student to remain well prepared. So this is a problem. Problem is with the teacher. And to improve teaching, teacher has to improve himself. There is no problem from the student side. No problem from the student side. But the problem is always from teacher side. Even a person who is really knowledgeable, even he is not ready to transfer the knowledge. He is not ready. I am ready to teach even two or three students which are really good. So I will always focus them. And this multiple choice question, the way of examination, it has making the teaching and learning uh, really worst. You uh, now our way of uh, answering is I, ha I have to find out the correct answer out of four. This is our thinking, and this is because of coaching class and competitive examination. So all these things now we have to change. Now in this uh, new education policy, they are not much bothered about examination. Examination pattern in India, we have to change it. We have to change it. The same thing that out of uh, seven question you have to perform five and all those things. Now we have to change. It. And uh, uh, in my opinion, there shall not be any examination. Whether you have to learn, uh, you are uh, able to understand anything. This is for you, not for me that whether you are able to pass the examination or not. If you are able to understand, you will be taken by a pri private firm or any agency because you are good in that particular subject. So you learn in the class not to pass the examination. So these are the few points uh, which I would like to uh, discuss with you apart from how to improve teaching that is related with the uh, uh, teachers. Mainly teach other points are with teachers that 
uh, how to take a class. But these are the few points. But even then, for all the students, still you are performing only 10% of your ability. Only 10% of your ability. So improve it. If you will double it, you, you will be the at the best position in this country. Even only by doubling it, 10 to 20%. So I hope by looking you people that uh, future of seed and future of India is in good hand and uh, teacher has to make it the best. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for your in informative and inspiring uh, guest lecture on how to improve teaching. And the points shared by you on uh, responsibilities of teacher is uh, highly helpful in enhancing the teaching ability. Now the session is open for discussion. Truth, sir, has spoken on both the sides. What is the lacuna besides of the students as well as of the teachers? And I think uh, he is more biased towards the students only, sir. Biased. <laughs> uh, in many fields, we have uh, micro level finance and uh, banking sector. Uh, go in depth of uh, election campaign. We have micro level uh, election campaigning. Likewise, we have micro level teaching. What is your uh, opinion remarks on micro level teaching? Uh, if we have to improve teaching, we have to think in that way. But, uh, without addressing micro level, we can't uh, achieve our goal. We can't go reach up to the individual student. We can't solve the problem of an individual student. But for that, the major problem in most of the university is number of teachers. Number of teachers. If those are available, we are able to solve that, that particular problem. And uh, my opinion, teachers can solve that particular problem. And uh, as you say, micro level teaching, micro level uh, teaching, or anything, if you have to solve the problem, you have to reach up to the micro level to solve the problem. And, uh, but how to reach up to that particular point? One point is number of teachers. If those are available, I can say that we can solve the problem at my point. Sir, uh, I would like to add my own experience, sir. The micro level means uh, individual, sir, watching the YouTube or other resources. Sir, I personally feel that uh, what the teachers transfer to the student is much less than what the students share among themselves, sir. So that uh, peer pressure or uh, peer friendship, whatever it is, that will be uh, more effective in making them more um, to have that learning attitude when compared to the uh, influence of the teachers. They will see their own friends. He's good at that. He's good at this. And we want to emulate them. That is the best way of uh, getting oneself improved when compared to the uh, Micro level teaching. That is my humble opinion, sir. <laughs> Maybe they think that we don't know, sir. <laughs> sir, uh, we talk about many things. He is uh, my role model. He is my philosopher. And so many things we use. What do you think about the the, the uh, my experience when I joined this uh, BSc Agriculture in 1971. The dean was uh, Dr. Daniel Sundar Raj. Still he is alive. I think one, one, uh, 111 years old. He is uh, coming from 102. Uh, down south. He is a very good role model for uh, each and every student. For example, I I inspired him. So if I perform well, one day I should become the dean of uh, this agriculture college and research institute. 
that was a challenge for me that is my ambition like that what is your opinion to role model maybe is this teacher is my role model so i wanted to inspire and how is your uh, comments on that sir uh, let me humbly reveal to this forum that you yourself have been our role model sir okay. <laughs> both are my phd students madam you got chance to get a good but now this is a problem now this is a major problem whom i can uh, think that he is my role model when uh, we think the best teacher when we think about his about college this is a problem this again a problem with teacher we want everything from a student but we are not ready to perform that he can think that this particular teacher is my role model now this uh, this role model is not available that is why these heroes and all those things they are become the role model this is major problem sir major problem and uh, here teachers are good but you come to an other colleges and uh, small colleges it is very poor condition very poor i do agree with your point and uh, when i studied that's our old system i think uh, you also under uh, my age i think and uh, we studied sslc in remote place and only in tamil medium okay and uh, we walked daily up and down 6 Kilometer each, totally 12 kilometers from a native place to the school. Rarely we have only few schools at those days. Okay, I still remember. I took one of the teacher as a role model in the school itself. Mr. Dodanan is the geography teacher. Still he is alive. Whenever I visit uh, my native place, I used to meet him. without any fail and other things uh, this i wanted to share yeah as you told uh, even at the school level also you should have some role model, role model. yes yeah. thank you that's all my questions thank you sir okay so thank you uh, thank you sir uh, you delivered a uh, very good uh, guest lecture Uh, so without uh, using the powerpoint and all nowadays we are always frequently using this powerpoint and all for uh, handling classes but uh, without uh, uh, using any uh, uh, i mean any tool uh, uh, you delivered on a uh, good lecture sir uh, how to improve teaching and all mm -hmm. <laughs> not uh, uh, again it is not a good thing uh, always uh, teacher has to be well prepared for anything if i have to give a lecture i shall be prepared for that particular then uh, but uh, from last 9 to 10 years i am not involved with the active research or teaching because of that i have selected this particular form uh, so madam okay. we can take points from student side so uh, what do you think about this uh, students and uh, teachers relations in nowadays uh, whether uh, uh, that will have any impact on uh, improving teaching and all now you are telling now uh, many times we say uh, at that time when we are at in the classroom we say this is not a good teacher but after that we think that he was a good teacher in classroom it is possible by performed by his behavior you can say the teacher is not good but after passing that particular class or after in the job then you say those 45 minutes of 55 minutes 50 minutes were valuable and where the tech teacher who was at that time i think he was he is good and those 45 minutes or 50 minutes those are those are not valuable so any relationship i think as far as teacher and student is concerned it is really only to transfer the knowledge yes and in uh, that your impression on them by your performance yes. by your performance these are the two things only other things uh, it has just to uh, cover up okay 
So what I know, how I am able to transfer it, and how I perform at the time of transferring it, that is the role of a teacher. And this is the only thing by which you can become a role model. Any question from the student side? Any observation, not question? The point is in your mind, but how to ask? <laughs> this is a problem. <laughs> mic, mic. Hello, sir. This is Ajay from First and CC Science Technology, sir. So my question is, um, we are we are undergoing through theoretical knowledge and practical knowledge as well in daily days, which could be helpful for a student in his future upcoming life. Whether a theoretical knowledge could be applicable or a practical knowledge. So as far as uh, syllabus is concerned, both theory and practical is for application. Both are for application, but normally what we think. Theory is to pass the examination. Is it? Theory, you have to, if your knowledge of theory and practical is very near to each other, then your performance will always be good. Okay, therefore, both are required for your performance. Thank you, sir. Any other? How many out of you would like to become a teacher? None? Nobody. <laughs> Stand up. Then you should good. ask something, na? Or you raised your hand. So how you will become a good teacher? <laughs> sir, I will try to be a good teacher, sir. I will learn, sir. Sir, and I have doubt, sir. That uh, you you have said uh, 25 peoples uh, will be a good student and 25 peoples will be a poor student and 50 percent will be a floating peoples. At last, you didn't say uh, if you are a teacher means whom you will address, sir, for that 50 percent or 25 percent of good students. No, if there is only one classroom, then I will address 50 percent floating population. To 50 percent to bring them up to. 25% uh, best. But if it is possible that we can make three classes, then it will be good to improve in all the three classes, whether it is best or poor or floating. So that much facilities must be available with the colleges. Uh, next, we would like to invite uh, our beloved professor, Dr. R. Gerlin, madam, Department of Seed Science and Technology, to offer a vote of thanks. Our most respected. Today's guest speaker, Dr. Dhirendra Kave, Dean Faculty of Agriculture from Jawaharlal Nehru Agriculture University, Jabalpur, our Dean SPGS, Director Seed Center, Professor and Head, our senior faculty uh, member, Dr. K. Vanangamdi, sir, my dear colleagues, the students, participants who have joined online. Good morning to everybody. So at the outset, I would like to thank the Dean SPGS, who is instrumental for arranging these kind of uh, guest lectures. Uh, whenever we call uh, external examiner for uh, conducting the Viva OC examination, it's really a novel idea. And uh, the students as well as the faculty, we are uh, benefited much. So I thank him immensely for this uh, idea. And uh, moreover, for, uh, for his time for uh, this uh, event and also for delivering the special address. And uh, I would like to thank our uh, respected director, Seed Center, for her constant engagement and unconditional support for all the activities of uh, our Department of Seed Science and Technology. I also thank our professor and head who is also instrumental for all these kind of activities and he's met her meticulous planning for conducting these events. 
our i am immensely pleased to thank our today's guest speaker as well as the examiner of today's viva oc examination dr dhirendra kare who is an eminent plant breeder illustrious and renowned scientist marvelous teacher and outstanding and able administrator of the prestigious university of uh, jabalpur that is jnu agriculture university a much appreciated nsp scientist and more and more laurels to his credit sir really we are very much thankful for sparing your time valuable time and efforts even though you are uh, uh, engaged in so many administrative activities uh, you are very kind enough to be here for us as the external examiner as well as the guest speaker and also your very valuable points of we the teachers how we can improve our teaching as well as the students to have a great future sir as the teacher we uh, uh, sure vouch that uh, we will inculcate all your points hints and suggestions advices everything for the betterment of the student community sir so thank you once again sir to be here and uh, behind every success we attain there lie the manifold uh, efforts of our committed faculty and uh, really we are very much thankful to you and our dear students your uh, unflinching support and help and uh, encourage that is uh, whenever we do something you are the encourage, real encouragement for us so really it is highly appreciated and acknowledged so at this uh, moment uh, i am very pleased to thank our former dean agriculture dr manangam di sir our, our prof, former professor and head department of seed science and technology for his keen interest to to be present himself in all our activities either educational or research and uh, his unconditional support for us thank you sir and uh, i also thank non teaching staff and also the technical staff rajesh for your support and help i also thank dean agriculture for providing this hall for uh, conducting this event and also professor and head department of physical science for rendering the technical support thank you once again thank you madam for your offering a word of thanks yes, uh, thank you one and all